Hey everyone, it's Mike from Drive80.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can make this effect, this audio wave effect, so you can utilize it on uh, Instagram or Facebook when you have an audio file, uh, like for a podcast or a song or something like that. So uh, let's dive in and see how I did it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have an audio file that you're going to bring into your project panel. And uh, so from there, I'm going to create a new uh, comp by doing Command N on a Mac, Control N on a PC. I'll do 1080 by 1080, make it 24 uh, duration. I'll make like a minute and whatever that is and say OK. Black background's fine. And I'm going to take the audio file. I'm going to drag it into here. And I'm going to go to the end of it by hitting O and hitting N and doing shift command X to clip the, or trim the area to just uh, whatever the workspace was. Next thing I'm gonna do is get a uh, layer, new, go to solid or just command Y. 1080 by 1080 is fine. Just make it match the size of the comp. And then color, this green one was just picked, so I'm gonna hit okay. So I have this here and I'm gonna go up to my effects presets and I'm gonna grab audio waveform. So the, the way I found that is I went to the search and hit wave and I hit audio waveform and I'm just gonna drag it onto that solid. Now it's not connecting to anything. And uh, as you can see, like when I did that, um, uh, you know, accidentally, my timeline is uh, time indicators all, all the way to the right. So push that solid off. So all I need to do is either a couple things. I could just, you know, click over here and drag that here. Or if I click this file, if I hit I, it'll bring my time indicator to the beginning of that that uh, layer, and I'll hit Command Up to grab the next, the other one, and just hit the left bracket, and it'll bring it over. And if you don't know how to do any of that stuff, you can just literally grab that and just drag it all the way to the left. I just think that's just very slow. So if I hit left bracket, it'll bring it there. So now it's not doing anything because it's not connected to the audio. So if I go up to the solid, make sure you clicked on the solid, not the audio. Click on the solid and go up here and go to right here in the audio layer and just click on for mine it's audio test. And now if I scrub it, I will see that there's a WAV file. Now it's starting a little bit later because I think I paused in the audio. So if I hit L twice, I can now hit Option left bracket to close that off and just drag that to the beginning. If I hold shift, it'll it'll lock it to there. So here we go. Here's this. And if I hit um, now, if I just play it, I'm not sure if you guys are going to pick that up, but it's me just talking, saying test, test, test. And you can see that in here in the wavelength, there the wave file. It's got the uh, it shows the, the peaks and stuff, and this is matching that. Now this looks okay, but it's going from right to left. So the way I'm going to fix that is I'm going to grab here and I'm going to do a starting point and I'm just going to put this to the right and I'm going to do end point and I'm going to put this to the left and there you go. And now if you if you grab the end point, if you hold down shift and move it, it'll move left and right and the same with the end, the start point and do that. So I'll just close that up. If I scrub it, it's, all right, it's still okay. It's not great. I want to kind of adjust the height. So we got a maximum height. I can now bring that up. If I hold shift and go a little bit more, so now it's like a bit more visually cool. And um, I can mess with this a bit more. So I get the thickness, I can bring that up. The duration, I can kind of bring it down a little bit so it's gonna make space up the lines. But I don't really like this effect too much. Actually, that's not that bad. So if I mess with the displayed samples, it's gonna make it a bit more of this kind of line effect here, which I really dig. Yeah, so it's not so wavy, it's not connected. So display sample, bring this down a bit more. And if I, let's see the thickness, I can kind of bring that up a bit, bit more. It looks very 80s at this point. It's almost like if I had like a 80s, like Depeche Mode song playing to this or something. So let's see. Yeah, I like that. So you can just mess with it, see how like you can make it look however you want to look. And that's pretty much it. And then, you know, export it and then, um, I would say if you're going to do this for a podcast and you're going to like, so I have a podcast called This Was The Scene and I do trailers every week where I'll have a clip from the guests and I'll have just a picture of them, the name of them, and I'll have this, uh, this sound wave below them. So when I post it to Instagram, I don't actually interview my guests face to face. I don't have video. So this is like my way of using video to do a teaser. So this, and then I'll just pump this out as an MP4. 
and post it to Instagram and then I've got a teaser and then I can animate around it. But this just gives it like, it, like this just shows somebody that there's talking and you know, you could also mess around with it and you could add like test or text. I'm sorry, like test, test, test. Like that's what I'm saying. I can make it white. Go up here. That's not there. Go to a line, put it in the middle. And then like, I think in the beginning I'm saying test, 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 like test, 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 test. test, test, test. This is Mike Doyle, so I can break that and say, this is Mike Doyle. Let's see. This is Mike Doyle. Break it again. So I'm doing Shift Command D to break it. Talking. So let's say, it's Mike Doyle talking. So yeah, and you could do that and just see how fast that was. I mean, now you've got yourself a cool little, um, a cool little video, and you want to make sure you do a background color. So my comp, if I hit Command K, the background color is black. It'll pump it out this way. So I would find an image to make it interesting, or just do another solid with Command Y. Pick like I don't know. In this case, I'd pick this. Maybe I'll do like a darker version of that color, and I'll bring this to the beginning, and I'll do Shift Command Left bracket to bring it over the bottom. So yeah, it's all right. I, I'd probably mess around with that, but. That's what I would do. Uh, if you want to check out more, just go to my YouTube channel, which actually, wait, shit, you're on my YouTube channel, so subscribe by, I guess, ringing a bell is what everyone says and some crap like that. You can check out my work at drive80.com. You could also email me at Mike, what am I can't spell? Mike at drive80.com. And uh, ask me questions. Tell me what videos you'd want to see me do to teach you a little bit basic stuff about After Effects and making it non-scary.